6.22 in the morning. We're headed off to Skagway, hoping that we can stay overnight and be there for the 4th of July. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully. Hopefully we can find a campsite. Yeah. I'm hopeful. <laughs> It's crazy when you're driving down the road here, all you can smell is the forest, the pine, it's so strong and it's coming through the truck and everything, like, it's crazy, it smells so good. Here, we gotta eat our gotta eat produce. Our produce. Gotta eat our produce. Can't bring it across the border. Take a look at that view. This is one of the most beautiful places we've seen. We're feeding her total garbage from the grocery store. It's not that bad. It's you make garbage. it sound like it's so bad. But I mean, she won't eat her regular food, so. Aspen likes to eat on her own time. We just have her food available whenever she wants. Um, she doesn't overeat or anything, but because we're traveling and we can't always have her food available to her, she's not eating as much as she should be. So we bought her some, something she finds a little more appetizing. Very nice. It's really nice here. <laughs> what do you think, Aspen? <laughs> so, we just paid for camping. Yep. And there's free camping here. Yep. There's a much nicer place that you can camp here that's completely free. <laughs> nice. What a crazy girl. Oh. oh. Are you awake? How are you doing? Do you like Alaska? She says it's too hot. <laughs> she needs something cold. If Alaska's too hot, she's really screwed. <laughs> Aspen's overheating a little bit, so we decided to sit in an air conditioned vehicle for a minute and just let her drink some water and cool down a bit. Um, I think she's completely done right now with everything. There's so many people here. It's so busy with all the cruise ships that everyone just wants to come and pet her and she's had enough. Like she's had lots of people pet her and she's been doing really well because she's pretty shy but she's done. <laughs> I think she's just ready for bed. So we're going to try to like take it a bit slower, go on some side streets so that she doesn't have to be around so many people. And yeah, we'll see. Hopefully it's not super busy all the time. When we first got here, there was almost nobody on the street at all. And now we went and got a campsite and we came back and it's packed. I can't walk through the sea of people. But it's still beautiful. 
and we're having a great time. We're making oatmeal. Very gourmet, Quaker. Ooh -ho -ho. <laughs> Can I have this spoon? Just a spoon. Thanks. Oh, fancy. This is gourmet. Man. You really can't get much more gourmet than this. Just a tad more liquid. This is probably not even safe. It's probably melting the plastic lining. I mean, other people do. <laughs> we eat enough plastic in it. Yeah. Okay, I think that is good. So, what are you thinking of? Is that your chair? Do you think you're a human? <laughs> is that right? We get you your own chair when we get home, okay? Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna go to Atlin? Atlin? Oh, she says she wanted to go to Atlin. Yeah, she says she likes Canada more. <laughs> Our original plan was to stay in Skagway for the fourth of July, but we both woke up at five AM this morning and couldn't get back to sleep. So we decided that we'd just try driving all the way to Atlin, which is where we wanted to go later today, um, and not stay for the parade, unfortunately. But I think it might be for the best because I think Aspen's done being pet by people, and I think it'd be really crowded. So it's we're just going to have a nice day, drive to Atlin, and hopefully get some camping there. Putting stickers on my water bottle. Going to start with Alaska. Indeed. But we decided to. What? I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, I missed it. You missed it? Are you? <laughs> oh, 
what is with her and tables she has to stand on? What are you doing up there? Aspen, you're not a mountain goat. You need to come down. No, no, no. Hey! <laughs> I think this is a game. <laughs>